They're searching. If you have low expectation for certain students or groups, you expect less of them. Now follow this. You lower the bar immediately to where you think they are. You provide them with an inferior education which you think they can handle. And you're not surprised if they don't succeed, that's what you expect of them. If you have high expectations, we go to the other end of the spectrum. You expect the best of your students. You teach, you engage, you inspire them to achieve excellence and success. And you are genuinely disappointed if they do not. You expect them to succeed. You have to look in the mirror and ask yourself if you harbor any subconscious tendencies to believe in your assumptions before the student comes to your class that he or she or they are underachievers. Because if so, whether you know it or not, your teaching will follow your belief. And remember, they got a rabbit, they will see it. It doesn't matter if they're African American, Latino, disabled, whatever, any protected group. They will know it, why? Because they have seen it all their lives. They don't expect it from you because it's a college environment. Also, they're so desperate, so hopeful, they don't expect it. When they see it, no time to analyze it, they dismiss you. Oprah Winfrey did a documentary, some of you may have seen it, on education. There were students at a predominantly African-American school, public school, in Chicago. Across town, there were students who were primarily Caucasian who were in a public school. People thought it was a private school. It was a public school. Same school system. The students from the African-American school, I'll call it that to generalize, the ones in the leadership class were taken to the school that was primarily Caucasian. The ones that were Caucasian were taken to the African-American school. Now, let me get rid of race for a second and put it like this. The kids from the poor school were sent to the rich school. The kids from the rich school were sent to the poor school. And they did this for a semester. And they took the cameras in. The students who were the absolute A students, one of them was a valedictorian of the class, the other was salutatorian, already selected. These students did absolutely poorly in the other school. The students from here who came over there said, you got to be kidding me, when the teacher started to lecture. They said, this is elementary stuff. That elementary stuff is what the student who was the valedictorian over here was getting as the highest stuff. I told you about you in your classroom. Think about this. A whole school or a whole school district who sees a whole group of students as inferior. And so the school that they go to, the teachers they get, the supplies that they get or don't get is based on the assumption that they're not going anywhere. You get it? You get it? And yet the students over here are no more intelligent, no less intelligent. They had a full Olympic-sized swimming pool. They had two jacuzzis that could fit 20 people each. They had electronic everything at their disposal. They had the smart boards. They had computers. Each one of them had a laptop. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody wants that, but they didn't have it. Somebody made a decision based on an assumption they're not going anywhere. Now think about this. I know this has to be true because if somebody assumed that they were going somewhere, uh-uh, you don't have this, you have that. They're both public schools. 